You should have seen the pain that this child was going through. Wallahi! Well, what was the sin of these people? Why did you put a siege on them? Because they chose Hamas democratically? The only democratically elected government in the entire region? You take their land, you take their livelihood, you throw them into a concentration camp, and then you strip them from the right of choosing their own leadership. And then you bang on about democracy, you hypocrites. You don't have to agree with everything that Hamas stands for, but they have been chosen by the people. Hamas is almost a swear word. You can say that we killed one Hamas leader or one Hamas member and you can throw a two-ton bomb, kill 50, 60 other people, but it's justified because Palestinian blood is cheap. You know, look how they demonize Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, the founder of Hamas. YouTube Sheikh Ahmed Yassin. See his reasons for fighting. He says, it's on YouTube. He says, you know, we have nothing against the Jews. He said, we love the Jews. He said, the Jews were our neighbors. They had positions in the, in the government. He said, why shouldn't we love the Jews? They are people of religion. We are people of religion. But when they took our land, we would fight them. He says, by Allah, if my brother took my land, I will fight him. If my cousin took my land, I will fight him. And if the Jews took our land, we will fight him. That seems like a rational argument, doesn't it? If tomorrow, Britain was attacked, we will regard it our moral obligation to defend our country. And we will be regarded as unpatriotic if we didn't defend it. Why is it a moral obligation for me to defend my country and a crime for others to defend theirs? Look at Ismail Haniya, the Prime Minister. Subhanallah, the YouTube him. He's a Hafiz al Quran. He leads the people in Trabi Salah. He cries in Salah. He cries in Dua. And you comp- he reminds us of our old leaders who used to lead the believers in Salah. You compare him to King Abdullah, or Husni Mubarak, or Gaddafi, or Bashar, or Bin Ali, or all the other supine, spineless leaders that we have. We should be honored. But we become apologetic, because they tell us that it's a crime to support Hamas. But it's not a crime for a British Jew to fight in the army. The IDF, which incinerates young children. And therefore, my dear respective brothers and sisters, we have an obligation to these people. And let me come from a thick point of view. The Palestinians are fulfilling a farthe kifaya on behalf of this ummah. If it was not for the Palestinians, our third holiest masjid would have been under total occupation. So they are fulfilling a communal obligation on our behalf. And if they are fulfilling a communal obligation on our behalf, then it is a farz that we assist them. Because Palestine is not just an issue of land, or issue of oppression, it's also an issue of aqidah. And therefore it's an obligation for us to assist these people. Now, alhamdulillah, you people are a testimony to the fact that we haven't forgotten Palestine. We haven't forgotten Palestine. And we will not forget Palestine. You know, we need to keep this momentum going. We need to be at the forefront in liberating our holy land. You cannot speak about Nuruddin, Salahuddin, Umar ibn Khattab. And then have no concern for the Palestinians, no concern for Masjid al-Aqsa. It's a delusion, it's hypocritical. So therefore, we as Muslims, and especially all over, but we want to start the initiative in Birmingham. 
We want to keep the momentum going. Next time somebody comes and speaks to you and he wants your votes, ask him what did you say when Palestine took place? Ask him what you said. What did you do when Iraq took place? We are living, we are standing in Spark Brook, Spark Hill, the largest Muslim constituency in the whole of Britain. And isn't it a shame that you re-elected an MP for who voted for the war in Iraq? What are you going to say to Allah on the day of judgment? When the mother whose child was blown to smithereens will come and she will hold up this child and you gave your votes so you could have your extension. So you could have your visas done because the elders in your brother said you must vote for him. Now you really need to be ashamed of yourself. And therefore we need to keep this momentum going. This momentum needs to be carried through. So we are gonna, inshallah, we are gonna initiate in Birmingham, we're gonna open a shop. We're already negotiating for a couple of shops on Shaffer Road regarding Aviva Palestinian shop. And we want to keep the momentum going. One, we will be selling, inshallah, items from Palestine, where the revenue will go to the Palestinian people. And also we will initiate projects. So we will inshallah employ people here. Now I want your contribution. Now the rental at the moment is working around about 10 to 12,000 pounds a year. Now we don't want the headache, because all the proceeds are going to go for a good cause. You know, running around every month looking for rent. Hopefully the, the business will sustain itself. But we want you to contribute toward this. So we want to today raise 20,000 pounds. And I'm not going to make it burdensome on anybody. The way we're going to do it is that we want 200 people to give us 100 pounds. Now, hands up 200 people who will give. And wallah, your reward is by Allah. And if you give more, it will be utilized for the same cause. I don't see 200 hands. Oh, mashallah. So short sighted, still only about 50. Do we have 200? Listen, outside, we, and the, our sister side, can we have Dr. Sajda and Sister Abda taking my names down? We don't want the sisters to be left behind in khayr. Outside, the brothers are going to be writing the names. Can you sort that out? Uh, okay, I think they, they, they're giving out thing thing. Please, we won't ask for the money right away. A month or so, month, month and a half, some brothers two months, but within two months. Inshallah, please do not forget. You know, this shop is your shop. Every penny that you will give will be accounted for. Alhamdulillah, it was George's idea to start one off in London. Alhamdulillah, by the khair of the people of Birmingham, Inshallah, we're going to beat the brothers in London. And the thing is, if this mushrooms and this sprouts, your reward is by Allah. Every time a shop is open, you will get the reward for it. Zakumullah khayran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who live and die for Allah's sake. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united in this dunya. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reunite us in Jannatul Firdaus.